From just after sundown, Queen's Park took on a different atmosphere as the farmers started to roll in with their animals. And as usual, the camaraderie between the farmers remains high as they keep their eyes firmly fixed on the prizes and, of course, bragging rights. I'm here again this year and I'm here to win. And the farmers take this competition very seriously. And for those who, who come out and watch it on the Saturday and the Sunday, can attest, the guys are out here, you know, and there's a lot of banter. It's like a football match um, in England, you know. So it's keenly contested, and the farmers take great pride in what they do here. Richard Banfield has been in farming all his life and is a long-time competitor at Agrofest. He would like to see more emphasis placed on goat production. There's some interest, not as much as I would like, but um, there's some interest in, in, in goats. And um, we welcome the, the new breed, the, the boar goat. Uh, a few farmers have them, and I, I'm hoping that I would get a, a fair share of it as well. I'm sorry that the government didn't get involved in bringing in the boar goat. I know that they bought in the La Mancha at, at Greenland, but um, I was hoping that the, the boar goat would have been part of that um, family as well down there. He got some support in that area from veterinarian Dr. Laura Hutchinson, who also farms goats. She spoke to how she got into that aspect of farming. I have a friend from Jamaica, who's also a vet. Um, a few years back, she highlighted to me how there weren't that many goat farmers here, um, you know, and that it was a niche market sort of thing. Um, we got into it mainly for further processing. So while we have a milking farm, we also make cheese, yogurt, ice cream, other things. That, that was my main aim, not just to stay with the milk. Theodore Fraser is operations coordinator of this year's Agrofest and he says he expects a more robust competition this year because the number of animals competing is higher than last year. It clearly shows that the farmers have taken on board some of the things that we've been trying to um, show them over the years and in recent times as well. And I think a lot of the younger farmers who are coming through um, are, you know, trying to take um, more care and practice more with the animals and prepare them better for showing. So I'm pretty pleased with what I've seen so far and I am looking forward to a great show this weekend. President of the Barbados Sheep Farmers Inc, Rommel Parr says the way the competition is being presented will be a bit different this year. Normally we would have the Barbados Black Lady Sheep coming first, the competition coming first with them, but what we've done this year is we're going to put the any other breed come, they will come first and then the creme de la creme of the show is Barbados Black Lady, they will come to for the climax of the show on Saturday. Green Spark is expected to be packed with activity for everyone to enjoy. Andrew Lowe, CBC News.